Hello, and this is chapter 12. We saw in the previous chapter how to move the mobile robot, and what is SAM, what is navigation, and how they works. So now we can bring the robot to wherever you want. But why did we learn those things? Of course, for a practical use. This chapter will talk about the service robot. You know the SAM, and you know the navigation already. So what you need more is how to use those skills for a real situation. Here we have an example, the delivery service robot. It will deliver some goods or products to someone who ordered. So we will think about how to make it with the mobile robot. There are many ways to get ordered like by voice recognition or by the simplest way pushing a button. We already know that ROS can be used in Android, so here we will think about the way how to order with an Android tablet PC. This video shows the service robot demonstration. There are Android tablet PCs on the tables, and the robot moves now because the customer orders something. There are three choosable snacks on the other side and each snack were provided in designated location. The robot was remodeled from the Turbo Tree Waffle. The wheels became bigger, and the speaker was attached to tell to the customer about the service status. Actually, to make the routine for the point-to-point -point movement is not so difficult. You can just use the SLAM and navigation package to build up. But making the routine for service is a difficult issue. You should think about the task, timeline, and network synchronization of those robots. And also you should think about unexpected situations like someone suddenly comes into service area. The collision between the robots and yielding the way to another robot are also difficult problems. The hardware configurations are the following. Three service robots with three SPCs inside the robot. Three Android tablet PCs for the order. Three remote PCs, monitors, and keyboards. Three service robots with three SPCs inside the robot. Three Android tablet PCs for the order. And three remote PCs, monitors, and keyboards. The tablet PC acts like a menu. The remote PC runs the navigation package for each robot. During the delivery service, the system needs to avoid the situation that the robot is going to bring the same goods at the same time. So the system needs a control tower. And the control tower in this system is the service core. Once the tablet gets the order from the customer, the ID of the tablet and the data of order goods will be sent to the service core. Since each tablet and the robot are paired, the robot which has the same ID goes to the specific location and comes back to the starting point. And during the delivery, the robot sends the service data to the core and the core updates the choosable goods on the tablet screen. So if another customer orders the goods which is under the service at the time, the tablet will show like the goods you have selected is currently unavailable. And it induces to select the other goods. While all the nodes for the delivery service run at the same time, the RQT graph will show like this kind of map. I guess You've never seen this kind of big node network before. As you can see, there are three groups of nodes connected to the service core. Each groups are running the same nodes, but these are grouped with namespace so the nodes can avoid to be terminated. Each pairs of the tablet and the robots are grouped with same namespace so it is easy to manage. 
and this graph shows what kind of topics are published or subscribed by the service core node. There are topics for TTS speech, service status, the pet order, and the goal pose of the robot. Check this later if you want to use. And this is the flowchart of the delivery system. You can check this later. And as been told, ROS can run in Android as well. This is the ROS Android application for the service menu. This runs almost the same as the ROS we have seen. The ROS system, like publishing or subscribing to the topping message and running the nodes, are the same. Please see the textbook if you want to know the details for remaking this system. And please try to make your own service robot. The related sources are fully open in the GitHub. This is the video taken from different angle. Let's have a look and then go to the next chapter.